Happy Friday! It's, uh, let's see, what is it today? 16th already? I was going to show you the garden a little bit and um, some of the stuff that I had mentioned on Facebook um, I had gotten at a consignment sale, or uh, estate sale yesterday. But first of all, here's all my panels <laughs> that I need to put together, uh, but that I need for making more of these photo encaustics. Um, and it's a beautiful day, second really beautiful day. Uh, bring my tea. I was really tired this morning because I put so much effort out in the garden and I went to Aikido last night. I got on the, on the mat um, instead of not just the park, so I'm like, uh. But anyway, first of all, and excuse my bed that I haven't made yet, I found this little table, finally got a little table. <laughs> <laughs> to go next to my my futon's kind of low, so a lot of bed bed stands are a, a little too high. But this is just right for holding my phone and stuff. And let me see. You can see the garden a little bit from here, but I'll take you down there too. All right, expanded right out there. Um, I'll take you. What is that? Never mind. <laughs> um, I'll show you what I got from the consignment place first. Why do I keep saying that? It's not a consignment place. It's a um, estate sale. Well, I'm making another ginger bug. This was my, my rose and um, lemon ginger beer. So you can see it's quite effervescent. I'm going to have to cover that with something when I open it. So yesterday, well, I got a basket. <laughs> I got a basket, a very nice basket actually, um, and I got this little, um, little. at first I thought it was a regular zodiac, it turns out it's a, a Chinese zodiac little thingy, little dish, but this, is, this was the cool thing, this is a really nice light meter, um, and I need to learn how to use it for uh, photography, clearly. Um, but it's like, it's in pristine condition. It's quite nice. And then I got these, how do you say it, coup or coupe glasses. Um, you know, they might be, they might actually be uh, sherbet glasses, but I'm going to use them for cocktails. <laughs> and then I found this, this uh, one, of, she had a bunch of different, or the woman that had lived there, it was an older couple that went uh, to live in a retirement home. Um, she had some random teacup, random teacup collection, and I found one of the. I found this one. And I thought that looks very similar to one that I have, and it turns out it's the same. It's the same Ainsley, the same maker. This is this is the one that I have. So, you know, it's it's essentially um, a complementary uh, pattern. So I got that one too. None of these were great bargains. Um, it was the first day of the estate sale, and I've never been to a, an estate sale like that before, and so I didn't understand that the first day is like full price, and then it goes down 25% each day. So I think, you know, as a buyer, you have to be aware of what's going to be really popular and what is a good value for what it is at the time. Um, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of stuff. A lot of clothes and um, costume jewelry, but it wasn't anything that really appealed to me. There were a couple of interesting framed religious pictures. They were like Catholic prints or something. Um, and while I wasn't so interested in the prints, the frames looked kind of 30s style, deco style, and I would consider buying those for the frames, although one was the veneer was a little bit damaged. But let me show you, let me show you what I did to the garden. Boy, they're still moving like some big chunks of wood down the street. I can hear them. Beautiful morning. I think it's gonna get up to 80. I've got to move my corn stalks. A little, a little uh, blue and purple um, morning glories. 
So all of this is the same, what you saw the other day. Although the Jerusalem artichokes will be blooming soon. They finally have buds on them, so I'm gonna have pretty yellow flowers all over those tall guys there. But this is it, this is where the new beds are gonna be. I put buckwheat seed on top of them and watered it down, so I'm hoping I get a nice um, stand of buckwheat on here. This is pretty big, this is probably from there to there is at least 12 feet, maybe even 15 at the end and another 12. So that was a lot of, that was a lot of work, oh my God. Um, but it's done. So the cardboard should decompose underneath and um, create a barrier for the grass and weeds and stuff that, that were there. Um, so, that's, so that's kind of what I'm gonna want. Uh, that's going to be like the extent of my garden out here all the way from there through here and up to here and then of course this side with the medicinal herbs um, I've had a lot of chewing insects lately that I have not been able to control so I don't know what's going on with that but a lot of these are perennials so they're going to die back and um, come back next year. Um, I'm gonna dig some of the valerian because I have a whole lot of valerian growing even in places where I don't want it or hadn't intended it to grow so I'm gonna be digging that up and maybe make some valerian tincture and I want to redo the edges along here um, my neighbor's got to have her tree taken out, so I might, I asked her if I could have the ground up stump filings. So I still have, um, zinnias coming. Oh, excuse me. And, um, these guys have started blooming. blooming. I think they call them Thurba something or Thurba something. I don't know. Um, but those are, those are cool. Those are, those are actually in a pot. Um, yeah, this is still hard underneath there. That's, that's going to be weird to grow on stuff for a while because there's still a lot of the tree left there. I do have, um, I do have some of my chrysanthemums starting to bloom and I'm still getting okra. I have to pick those actually. And I still have a little bit of basil here too. Um, and, wow, that's a weird bee, um, and this, uh, these are beans, these are like purple beans, and they're actually, got a little tiny one there, they're pretty, I mean, I just grew them, I wanted to grow something up these, um, stalks, the, uh, what was left from the sunflowers, um, huh. Let's see if I can play with this one here. Let's see if I can bring it over down to this other side. Come here, come here, my friend. Oh my goodness! Maybe get the, maybe get it to come down this way. Uh, not quite there yet. Maybe later. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Um, I've got a few more chrysanthemums I need to plant too, but so that's, so that's what I've done on the garden. Um, as the leaves fall, I'm going to um, kind of spread them out. I get so many, I won't do it with, with all of them, but I will spread them out and um, go over them with the mower and then I will put that on top of some of the beds, probably that new bed, and around some of the other plants. And I usually go around with little bamboo stakes and mark where I've got perennials, just so I know in the springtime that something should be coming up there. But anyhow, that's it. That's garden update and estate sale stuff. And yeah, have a good Friday.